Hey, what's going on guys, Maldiva here. And today I'm gonna to be bringing you a macro guide for Warlocks and PVP. Now, before I start this video, I just wanna give a huge shout out to my editor that's working on my channel. As you guys have noticed, there's been daily uploads during the week and that's all due to him. So I gotta give him all the credit for that. And I know I've been noticing in the comments that you guys have been loving it. So just wanted to give him a shout out before we started this video. So anyways, getting into it, I have compiled just a couple of macros that I have. These are the, the major macros that I, I use right now in PVP. Not much has really changed. There's just been a couple of spells that were pruned and or changed. So that's what changed my macro lineup right now. So getting started, the first one, this is gonna be my banish macro. And the special thing about this, because if you normally you don't have to have banish in a macro, but I like the mouse over banish. This helps for like mind benders or shadow fiends for shadow priests and even other warlock pets. You can do this as well. And I had in it slash target fell lord. This was from Legion because there was a lot of demo locks. Now that's kind of <laughs> irrelevant at this point. So you don't even need that at all. Next up, this is going to be my damage macro. So when I want to dark soul and use my orc racial. I also have my on use trinkets. I got multiple on use trinkets and I, I guess you can make it easier and do like slash use and then the item slot number, but I don't know. I've done this since I've been playing WoW and it's just what I've stuck with. I, I know I like to complicate things a little bit. That's just how I, how I like to roll. Anyways, next is my devour macro and also my dispel macro. So if I have a fell hunter out, this macro is going to press devour magic, which will purge magic from the enemy. And then it has singe magic. So this is going to be the friendly dispel if I'm playing with an imp. So that's going to dispel my healer out of CC. And then the command demon line. This is if I have an imp sacrificed, it's going to also dispel my healer. But this is cast from myself. This is cast from my imp having the imp out. And this is from myself. And I just have them both in there. So just in case if I have the imp out or sacked, it works in all in one button. And this is a uh, pretty standard, just the fear focus. Everybody, yeah, everyone's going to want to have this very, very important. And also the havoc focus. So this is for Destro when you're putting havoc on your focus target so you can coil your target. So they both get coiled. I have a hide frame text. Now this is just a quality of life feature that I like. So if you notice, I have the status text displayed on my character and also who I target. Now, it used this used to be an interface setting that Blizzard pruned out to where I didn't need the script, but what it does is it will take this status text off of my player portrait right here and also for my pet too. Because that just drives me crazy. Cuz for some reason, I it it blocks some of this cuz this is how I view my my current health is by looking at the green bar. And when I have the status text on myself, it just makes it, it, it kind of blocks my vision and I can't, it, I don't know, it just like kind of triggers something and I can't fully read what my current health is and it confuses the hell out of me. So I had to stop doing that <clears throat> and I had someone find me this macro. So very, very thankful that they found that because it was incredibly annoying when I had to just ha play with this on my player portrait. Now this is a very, very handy macro. So what it does, instead of having to do this for your Infernal, to where you'll have to click it or press the button, aim where you're gonna drop it and then click down. You can just press this. It's gonna instantly drop it wherever your cursor is. So it'll just save a lot of time. Super, super handy for me. Now the next three macros, these are all the same. What these do is it will target the enemy's pet. So if I'm fighting a hunter or another warlock, he's playing with a pet, I can instantly target it so I can dot it up or CC it. This is very important for BM hunters because you could fear the pet if they didn't have the glyph. It was very, very handy when they pop bestial wrath. Now this is my pet attack macro. I've been using this one for a while, but from what I've noticed, it seems to be bugged. And I don't know why that is, but ever since BFA started, this macro has just been bugged and it doesn't send my pet in all the time or I have to spam it. I think the mouse over kind of works. I haven't really tested that too much because I used to do that for like totem stomping. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what they did. The pet AI, I'm not really happy with it currently in BFA. They kind of just killed it. 
So what I think people are doing is they just go into the keybinds menu and just keybind pet attack. But I've always been a fan of this macro. Kind of sucks that it doesn't work as well as it used to. And then this macro just goes with that for extra pet micro. This will pull it back to me and then also set it to passive because this would set it to assist. So I would use the two to switch it back and forth if I wanted my pet on passive or assist. Now this, the rain of fire macro, this works similar to how the infernal worked where I don't have to press down when I want to hit it. I just press the button. It drops rain of fire right on my cursor. So super, super handy for Destro again. So these last two are going to be my spell lock. So if I have a pet out or I have it sacked, it will spell lock my target and also as command demon. So if you sacrifice, let's say a succubus or you have a succubus out, I, I hope you don't sacrifice a succubus. It's not really the greatest thing to sacrifice, but if you have them out, this macro will cast the seduce. And then the second one is all of that, but just on the focus target. So I can spell lock my focus target and then also seduce my focus target. So very, very handy for pet micromanagement. And yeah, so that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it and leave a like and comment down below if this helped out. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Also subscribe to the channel to be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Thank you, and I'll see you all in the next video.